Okay, here we go. Um, the side of ACBM. We have Torvalos playing Cog, uh, Upfish playing Vander, Jax playing Ninja, Salty playing Sweet Science, and Karpa playing Doc. And on the side of Melody, we have Negativity playing Ninja, Checkmate playing Tony, uh, Positivity playing Doc, and then Angel, Rowley, and Tempest. Uh, on sweet science. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so somewhat similar team comps. Well, actually not. Both teams have a ninja and a doc and a sweet science. And then CB has uh, opted to go for a uh, Vander instead of Tony and a Cog instead of a Roly. I uh, I think the I haven't looked at the updates, but I'm guessing Vander is still probably the better choice um, but if I remember correctly checkmate prefers Tony over Vander and then Cog over Roly. I'm not sure if I really think Cog is a good choice because this map the mid is like very long so that's gonna take very long to Sorry about that. Um, yeah, as I was saying, Cog is going to take so long to traverse the middle. It's going to be a very easy target. As well as this map is not the easiest to get spawns up. Uh, luckily, no, none of the teams have Nigel. So, uh, hopefully we'll get some spawns up. So, we won't have to watch Travalis try to traverse the middle for like 5 minutes straight. Um, yeah, so, I guess... Uh, CB's offense is going to be the Doc, the uh, Cog, and the Sweet Science. Um, I think the Doc-Cog combo can be very good, but on the other side we're also probably going to see that a Doc, uh, but with Rolly instead, uh, which is also a good combo. Um, I think, to be honest, um, CB has the better comp, simply just because of the Vander instead of uh, the Tony. Just provides some. It's just so much better on uh, defense. Um, so even Upish should not be able to screw up uh, Vander. Um, not really a big fan of these turret placements. Very easy to get through the walls. Um, I guess they know what they're doing. And then on the other side, oh, they're just going for a big uh, pyramid. Um, uh, I don't think it's actually that good, since they're probably not going to have a dock on on defense, but the enemy offense is going to have a dock, so you don't want people blocking themselves in. Uh, so I personally would not go for a multi-layered cube. Um, on the other side, Melody doesn't have any layers on their cube, which I don't think is optimal either. I would go for a one-layer cube. Surprisingly, actually, uh, Melody has the better rare, rare coverage. Uh, I guess it is to be expected, uh, since CB has a COG, but still, I think CB sh should be the better team, so they should have more radars, to be honest. Uh, still no radars in their final cube from uh, uh, Melody. Fixing that up now. Uh, and on the other side, no radar coverage on the front lines of uh, CB. It's going to be interesting to see what sort of strategies they're going to take. Um, CB, uh, when I played against them in the summer tournament one or two years ago, uh, what they did was just set up on mid and not really push that much. Uh, but that time they had a, a Nigel instead. But I think playing it slow is probably like for CP, best way to like guarantee you a victory. Uh, but hopefully they play a bit more aggressive. Um, I don't really know about Tempest. Is he's, has he gotten better since before? Since when I played with him, he wasn't that good. So I'm not sure if a combo of Tempest, Angel, and Positivity is going to be able to beat Upish and Jax. Jax is a very good ninja. Uh, most annoying ninja I think I've ever played against, except for Emerald Phoenix. Okay, let's, oh, just Jax's offense, and then 
I don't know what they're doing. Foreman offense? Might be going for pressure and a quick win. Um, any good fights going on? Okay, let's see. Carp against positivity. Same hero. Um, Carp already has uh, HP set up. Jack's coming in from behind, hitting positivity. Um, positivity has nowhere to run. Tempest is taken down by Tervalas. That's two kills for CB already. Um, negativity trying to rush in, figuring out that was the best left, I guess. So, going out again. Um, running away through that island over there. But he's actually going to meet Salty there, perhaps. Did Salty set up anything here? Yeah, I have lots. So, oh, CB already setting up on the defense of uh, Melody. Dropping some grab wells. Um, did they catch anyone? No. Already just going for the cube damage. This does not look good for Malady. A lot of pressure already. Um, not a lot of cube damage, but still that pressure does not seem very good. Uh, they have also. Oh, but in the meantime, uh, Angel has actually set up a spawn for Malady in midfield. Um, oh, and already cube damage. I think, yeah, Tempest got to the cube. Uh, up it has quite a lot of uh, Teslas, but uh, the rolling can just spam them down easy. Uh, but so that's 4.7k of bricks left over, so not that big of a deal, to be honest. Okay, so we're gonna be seeing Jax, I think, finding some action here against Tempest. Jax has, yeah, Jax has HP he can heal on. Uh, Tempest getting some good hits with some support from Angel, but Karpa rushes in, gets Tempest. Uh, that doesn't look like we're gonna be able to fig to get jaxed, but negativity going in now. Carpa should be done. Oh, perhaps not. Oh, no. Got Carp, blinked out, but Upper's going in to help. Angel's done for her. And there we go. Uh, a lot of fights going on in mid, but they don't really result in any cube or objective damage uh, gain. Uh, mainly just fighting for mid control right now, and we see Upish pushing perhaps a bit too far again. One of his biggest problems yesterday. Still doesn't look like he's learned anything. Um, let's see then. Jax going in with half health. Getting grabbed by Tempest. Should still be able to win it. Yes, and survives. Can easily teleport out, I think. Can't he? And then. At the same time, we see Angel going underneath the cube. I was trying to fight him. Uh, should be an easy fight. Ooh, oh my god, Uppish, what are you doing? Uh, Uppish somehow loses a 1v1 against the Roly as Vandra. That should not happen. Uh, in the mid, looks like Melody has the most control right now, but uh, just as I say that, CB is pushing in again. Uh, Jax is grab well, teleports out, and now Travalis and Carp should come and help him. Uh, not before they can take down Jax. Travalis is grab well, so Tempest going to heal and an exposed uh, HP setup. Getting gassed by Carp, uh, he sh should be able to escape. No. And now, once again, CB has established uh, mid control. Uh, two sets of HP and ammo there, and Shrine from Jax as well. Um, but of course, as I mentioned earlier, I think uh, Malady has a uh, spawn set up, so should be able to help with the mid controller. We see Angel, I think, just waiting for his teammates to spawn up, right? Positivity? Yes. So they can go in together much better than what they're uh, doing down, what Tempest was doing down there. Now we might see a uh, two-man push coming in from Travalis and Carp, or just Carp maybe? Yeah, Travalis looks like it's stuck. Negative uh, is going into health as well. Uh, so far it's really just been about the mid-control. Uh, no one's been able to do any substantial amount of damage or set up any good spells behind. Um, I think that's uh, one of the main problems with this map, too easy to defend. Uh, let's see now what they're able to do. They should have three, two people available. Salty going for damage, but I think it's uh, way too early to be going for damage. They need a lot more spam first before they start doing that. Uh, no, like doesn't even scratch any of the sound bags. Uh, and then um, really not that much going on otherwise. I think. Uh, temp 
Tempest, oh wait, actually Tempest and Positivity underneath the CV setup. Um, do they have any sponsor? Uh, I'm not sure. We have both of them underneath the CV setup. Um, so it has quite a lot of Tesla's up, plus 3.9k left over. And on the other side, so like 4 charts up with 5.6k bricks uh, left over. So I don't think we're going to see any cubes go down uh, very soon. Um, Salty actually got behind the lines of uh, Malady, um, but it seems like he's been spotted. Uh, negativity following him. Uh, and ooh, Tempest, no, Positivity in their cube. Yeah, that's why I don't like the multi layered cube. Too easy to get inside, I think. Uh, actually, got a good chunk of damage there. Tempest still just underneath, causing havoc. Um, finally gets taken down, and now they should start clearing out these tunnels. Um, let's see, Salty got taken down, so I guess no forward response for them either. Should be seeing a push from Mallory pretty soon, I think. Positivity and Angel. Uh, car pass bottom them though, gas starts gas. And Jax and Uppa should be there to help, but Negativity comes as well. Uppa should be getting Angel pretty easily. Manages to block himself up and might run away. We'll set up in no mines, he gets taken down. Um, yeah, Tempest not able to do anything, uh, won't be able to do any cube damage, but positivity inside, oh, and he will get up here as well, uh, Carp is there to gas him, uh, gets taken down, but another good chunk of damage taken, and, uh, Mallory really need, I mean, CB needs to figure out what to do about positivity, so he seems to be able to get in there and gas himself, um, so, uh, just can't really handle them. And CB uses so much time taking them down that every time like they're done clearing them out, they spawn again in mid. Uh, but looks like Salty and Carp spotted the area they came from, but has not yet been able to get the spawn. Uh, that's one of the main weaknesses of not having a uh, Nigel. Uh, Carp should be able to easily dispose of uh, positivity. Negativity comes into hull, but will probably die himself, at least if Jax can help uh, Karpa, get him some cover fire. Um, yeah, Jax uh, gets negative to blink away uh, easily. Uh, Tempest, again, he's just being a nuisance, he's really not doing that much, like, he's not doing any good plays, but he's just consistently either behind or under. And uh, Apish is not that good at fighting, so got Uppers trapped in his own spawn, gonna run out and try to bait him out. Oh, and he gets him. Should now perhaps be able to set up a spawn. Uh, oh, maybe not. He's on radar, opting to go for some Q damage instead. I don't think that's gonna work out with Jax and all these Teslas up. Uh, trying to destroy them, but Uppers with his 4.9k extra um, really isn't doing much with that. And it's taking out one or two Teslas every push. Let's see on the other side, Salty and Karpa on the top of uh, the enemy cube. One of the things I think Karp likes doing the most, just stay on top and as uh, Doc, you saw it yesterday as well when he played against MLG. Uh, like Karpa just stays on top, just try to fight people and um, tries to get kills uh, rather than cube damage. Um, which sometimes works out, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, when it doesn't work out, it looks like he's playing just for kill hunting as he gets no Q damage. But the second it actually works, he gets like the entire cube in one go. Um, more fights in mid. Torvalis on a power position over there just spamming down. Ooh, Malady only with one turret left. Uh, their Tony has 6k of bricks though, so He's able to set him up if he gets the time, but if Travalis can just keep on providing pressure until the rest of his team comes, might be able to get something out of it. Jax is on top, trying to get the Tony. Uh, Carp's there as well. Um, where's Salty? Salty's underneath. A uh, lot of stuff going on in Malady base right now. 
Um, pretty solid defense from both sides up until this point. Um, yeah, okay, it looks like Mali was able to clear them out, so with 6k breaks, they should be able to spam out a bunch of turrets now. And I'm not sure, I guess there's a spawn behind her somewhere from uh, uh, the side of CB. Uh, yeah, there we go. All the way back here, uh, perhaps some extra ones uh, that I haven't found yet. Why this trash map? Yeah, I don't think it's the best of maps, too easy to defend. Um, let's see what's going on with Upfish now. Will he die? Oh wow, he did. Ooh, three man push from Melody going in. Um, might only Jax back, I think. Uh, we'll be able to get Angel down though. Um, where is Tempest? He's in the trees, okay. I think they're taking too long. I, uh, Carp's back now. This push probably won't do anything unless they can get Jax here. How many times did Uppish die in 10 minutes? Okay, in 11 minutes he died 9 times. He's 5 and 9 as Vander. Like, I mean, I'm giving him probably more shit than he deserves, but he's 5 and 9 as Vander. Not sure how that's even possible. I think, like, I've only played Vander 2 games, I think. But if you just place a ton of Teslas, press F every once in a while, and just avoid enemies, you should be good. Ooh, Malady. No, yeah, Malady. Getting into their cube. Uh, all three people going for him now, but once again a good chunk of damage. CB's defense has seemed really lackluster to be honest, not coordinated. Um, and Uppish just mm, not doing his job to be honest. Jax 10 and 2, Carp 10 and 5, and we have Uppish 8 and 9. Andrew has been nerfed, Cage and Tesla shit now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't really read the notes, but still. Uh, so Vander's a bad pick at the moment. Okay, I did not know that. I haven't read the patch notes. Uh, still, then he could have just picked Tony. There's no reason as the main defender to be going 8 to 9. Um, Carp on top. Angel behind him. Jack should be able Jackson Carp, if we turn around, should be able to get Angel. Oh, no, Angel's able to escape. Uh, but um, Malady still hasn't been able to set up more than one turret at once. Uh, he's only spent 500 bricks since the last time I checked, so... Seems like the problem for Malady is having time to set up the turrets, not having the bricks to do it. Uh, okay, let's see what's going on. Uppish now, in mid. Probably going to get killed by uh, positive day if I'm being honest. Ooh, jump pads. Uh, guess that works. Um, Tempest and Ainge, no, just Tempest pushing in. Um, Malady doesn't seem that good pushing together. I think, uh, CB's defense is really bad at defending together, and Malady's offense is bad at attacking together. But CB's offense is, uh, pretty coordinated. Somehow they get another chunk of damage. Uh, let's see then, uh, what is Salty doing? He's underneath, um, not sure if he's on radar, probably not, ooh, he's gonna get a sneaky spot in here uh, to hit the cube. Uh, Tony's there though, does he hear him? Um, doesn't seem like it, he has not yet spotted him, uh, figure out that where he is, but it's a, uh, ooh, that doesn't seem good for Tony, uh, but now we have four melody players going in, so he should be done for, uh, Tur, uh, Mortar's coming in from Turvalis, and checkmate's done. Uh, Torvalis once again in that power position just spamming into their base and with only one turret left this can really oh and Carp's going in at the same time no turrets left only one defender up Jack's going in at the same time this should be the first cube gone if Torvalis gets in at the same time yes should be able to get Angel down for him. so they're not going to be able to get the cube but such a solid chunk of damage there um wait someone's still on the cube Oh yeah, Carp. Oh, and he has gas, so Ninjas to teleport out. Who won Boom versus FCKS? I think Boom won. Um, yeah, Boom won after already got a uh, 35 minute BB, I think. Oh, and as we talk about BB, it's 15 minute BB. Um, not that important. See who's gonna get it. We have full control. 
Angel's gonna try to go around the side, I think. Set up a couple spawns in the end. Um, let's see, Salty and Carp underneath. I guess they have a spawn under there. Somewhere. Um, so, oh, I'm gonna use the gravels to get them. Uh, but I'm guessing while they're doing that, we're gonna see Travals come in from the top. Yeah, beautiful team play. Uh, Malady did not seem prepared for that at all. After is going very offensive. Uses his F. And does, don't think it got anyone with it. Uh, they got some Q damage and a Tesla. I mean a turret. Uh, no one's gonna get salty. Just gonna let him take the cube, I guess. And there we go. Let's see. Second cube. Uh, I personally don't like defending that cube at all. First, oh. Angel in. Once again, Uppish has done it. The genius. The legend Uppish went offensive. I think the offense didn't really need him, but luckily he went offensive, so Angel had a very easy path to uh, to get their Q. Oh, and they're gonna be able to snowball a bit. Tempest is able to set it up, yeah. Yeah, I guess the Teslas didn't shoot. Yeah, a couple of them are charged and some just got in there. But still, I think, like, I wish should know that Teslas don't shoot them. And, yes, like, it shouldn't be possible for one person to get, like, half a cube in one go. Especially not when it's not from any offensive kills from the Melody, it's just Uppish rushing in to the other side of the map to get like 5 hits on the enemy cube. Um, but Salty setting up some grab wells. Um, I think Mallory is probably just going to go really def defensive now. Try to set up another sailmate. Jax does NA brain. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention to Jax. Hmm. But still, I think that Vander is the last person on CB's uh, team composition that should go offensive. Of course, Jax should probably have a shrine set up in the back so you can teleport out and get and be there on defense. Honestly, just bad communication. Maybe not actually Uppers' fault, but just bad communication from the team all around. They have to communicate that like no one's there to keep. Okay, let's see positivity. Interesting. I guess that's actually pretty smart, destroying the HP cubes so you can tank the Teslas. Doesn't work though when there's enemies there. Ooh, Salty setting up a gravity wall drop. One of them already activated. Drops it down, let's see, it drops down at the same time. Um, man, that would have been a good play if you had Tervalis and Carp there with him when he did it. It's not gonna be like, even if you have four grab walls, you're not gonna be able to win that 1v3. Ooh, Angel got some more cube damage. Yeah, I agree with you boss. Jax is the one who should go offensive while Uppish defense. Okay, let's see. CB going in one by one has three people. Not gonna work. Mm. Malady still doesn't have any turrets up though. So if they, they just go in all three together, go for kills like they like doing. I mean, that cube should be pretty easy. There's one fire trap defending the entire thing. Okay, see you also win this. It will be a PB game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's probably gonna be a PB game because last cube, except for the fact that CB might be able to make something happen with this spawn if they're able to snowball it. Uh, the problem is that they're going one by one. Carp's actually doing a very good job doing uh, one of E3s. Locked himself in. Um, was able to cast them. Torvalis, is he able to follow up? No, probably not. Let's see what's going on, on the other side. Angel, removing some radars. Um, Upbridge is going to fight him, I think. Let's just see what he's going to do here. Uses the cage. Uh, might have hit him. And now Upbridge is stuck down there. Well, Angel might be able to block. Oh, never mind, Jax is there. Might be able to block himself in on the cube. 
Okay, and then we have Salty in mid, taking the supply drop, good job on that. Then in the back of Melody Space we have Karpa, once again, by himself. Let's go back to it. Um, wow, Jbig is here, is here, nice. Uh, Angel against Uppish. Uh, just gonna spam down those Teslas. Uppish has 5k uh, bricks left, both well, it's a very good brick economy. Uh, so you're gonna have to spam a lot to get anything done. Um, I guess Melody just found the offensive spawn of CB. Mm -hmm. they, well, CB chose not to uh, destroy it yet. So I guess they might not actually know it. Oh my god, yes, you are JVake. You're the second best PNL player in Fortnite after uh, Boss. v2, no 3v3 here. Uh, finally, see if he's attacking, or at least trying to attack together. Tempest, shouldn't he just be able to pull both of them up over the edge? Uh, Tavalas gets taken down. Uh, if all three of Melody just push Carp together, he should be an easy target. Yep, I'm trying to hit him from both sides. Oh my god, negativity, what are you doing? What? Oh my god, Carp, someone nerf him, please. Tempest should get- oh my god, Melody, what are you doing? Carpa gets both Negativity and Tempest, will he be able to get the triple? Uh, and Torvalis has spawned up again, but they don't have their offensive spawn anymore. So, it's not going to be able to do any cube damage. These guys get checked by Nebalaisa, yes indeed. Uh, I don't understand what's so difficult in block and load about just taking your fights together instead of pushing in one by one. Yeah, they rush in half HP every time and they go in one by one so Karpa doesn't have to shoot at three people at once. Just, hmm. It's frustrating to watch what I've done. I think I would have done a lot better than these guys to be honest. Let's see, is it Checkmate's turn to rush in alone? Oh, no. He's not gonna rush in. He's gonna... Ooh, finally got him. But still, once again we saw it there. First negativity rushes in, as soon as negativity backs off, that's when uh, Checkmate decides to help him. Let's see, do we have any BB setups yet? Um, yes. Yeah, some from HP from both sides and radars from both sides on main BB. Um, not sure where BB drops on this side. Somewhere around here, I guess. Uh, no setup here. Oh wait, actually, CB set up with HP, and on the other side, CBs with the spawn and a radar and some mines. Okay, so CB definitely better prepared for all uh, the BB fights than what Melody is. We have Jax, he's probably already heard that Angel is down there. Um, he's not able to do anything about it. And as we can see by the main map now, everyone's in BB. As, um, uh, we see where the BB is gonna drop, it's gonna drop in the middle. That should be a clear advantage to CB. Uh, they have a lot of mid control right now. But here comes Melody, full force, all four of five of them. Um, Tural is able to do some good damage on them before they even get in. And they've started to split up. Negativity gets taken down, that's a 5v4, no, 4v4. Uppish died somehow. Uppish, still not positive KD. Salty's gonna find Tempest, that fight won't go real well for him. I think Mallory probably set up some HP, yep. Now they're gonna have some gas as well. Check when he's gonna try to get underneath, perhaps. Um, still full control for CB. All five of them up. Uh, all five of Melody up as well. Um, they're not 
you are, oh wait, they're already going for it. Uh, decide to stop just breaking it. And they're back breaking it. Carp is under, this should be easy unless someone can blink in or something. Uh, Carp, I got it, as expected. Uh, Mallory lost three people in the process. Positivity is weak. Um, Upfish might be able to hunt him down before he gets away. Um, maybe not, he makes it all the way back. Negativ negativity is at full health. Um, Angel spawns in five seconds. Let's see, are they able to get some Q damage? Negativity getting hit by Tarouts for a lot of damage. Ooh, almost dead. Not quite taken down yet. Doing a lot of cube damage. Positivity is weak as well. Positivity taken down, which means perhaps no HP for their next cube. Uh, only one person has died CB so far, so they have four people with BB boost. Turvalist really stepping up, killing checkmate and damaging Angel for a lot. And there we go. CB wins it, as expected. In 26 minutes, I believe. Uh, let's see, Salt did with quite a lot of Q damage, Jax did pretty well. Um, Upfish got some Q damage at least. Um, Torvalis' stats don't look that great, but um, I think he pre played pretty well. I mean, I think he was he either him or Car Carpo is probably the MVP for me. Just because of the pressure they put on and the amount of damage they did in like 1v2 and 1v3 fights. Uh, Malady, I think they just didn't have enough coordination, to be honest. But anyways, I'm gonna turn off the stream now, guys. Um, yeah, CB, still the best in the game.